In the realm of cinematic classics, few films have left an indelible mark quite like The Towering Inferno. Released in the pivotal year of 1974, this disaster film, directed by John Gillerman and Irwin Allen, stands as a testament to the gripping storytelling and technical prowess that defined an era. What enduring qualities make this movie an everlasting symbol of the industry? The answer lies in its seamless blend of suspense, star-studded performances, and groundbreaking special effects, showcasing a towering inferno that engulfs both the screen and the imaginations of its audience. Now, let's delve into some intriguing tidbits about this cinematic gem. Did you know that the towering inferno boasts an ensemble cast featuring luminaries such as Steve McQueen, Paul Newman, and Faye Dunaway? This powerhouse lineup not only contributed to the film's success, but also added a layer of authenticity to its narrative. The movie's gripping plot unfolds within the confines of the world's tallest building, a striking setting that heightens the stakes and intensifies the suspense. As disaster strikes and chaos ensues, the characters must navigate a treacherous inferno, both literal and metaphorical, leading to moments of heart-stopping tension. And now we turn the spotlight on you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic spectacle? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below as they contribute to the rich tapestry of shared experiences surrounding this iconic film. So whether you're revisiting this classic or discovering it for the first time, the towering inferno continues to captivate audiences with its timeless appeal of cinematic inferno that refuses to be extinguished. The Towering Inferno, a gripping disaster film released in 1974, is a cinematic masterpiece that emerged from the collaboration between two iconic directors, John Gillerman and Irwin Allen. The narrative unfolds within the grandeur of the world's tallest skyscraper, where an inaugural celebration turns into a chaotic struggle for survival when an electrical malfunction sparks a devastating fire. The film skillfully weaves together the tales of the building's architect and the fire chief, both faced with the daunting task of rescuing hundreds trapped above the flames. The ensemble cast, featuring luminaries like Faye Dunaway and Fred Astaire, adds depth to the character-driven storyline. The towering inferno is renowned for its groundbreaking special effects, capturing the intensity and scale of the inferno in a manner that set new standards for the genre. This cinematic spectacle left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent disaster films and establishing itself as a timeless classic in the annals of cinema. During the making of The Towering Inferno, interesting behind-the-scenes events added a unique touch to the film. For instance, the choice of Jennifer Jones for the role of Lissolette had an intriguing backstory. Rumors circulated that Olivia de Havilland turned down the part, leading to Jones stepping in, allegedly influenced by her husband Norton Simon, a multimillionaire with significant ties to 20th Century Fox. Simon even loaned priceless Picasso paintings for set decoration. The production also faced unexpected challenges, as seen in the use of a radio-controlled miniature helicopter during an exterior night shot. Attempting to rescue a Steve McQueen doll from a glass elevator explosion, the helicopter lost control due to a sudden gust of wind. The ensuing rescue by a standby medic named Dorothy, who wrapped the McQueen doll in gauze while exclaiming, don't worry, Steve, it'll save you, provided an unexpected moment of humor for the film crew. Furthermore, the film's iconic helicopter sequence almost lacked music in its first five minutes. Initially resistant, director Irwin Allen changed his mind after composer John Williams crafted a compelling musical accompaniment. Williams' contribution added a crucial layer to the sequence, showcasing the collaborative nature of the film's production. These anecdotes offer a glimpse into the fascinating details that shaped the creation of The Towering Inferno, demonstrating the unexpected twists and teamwork behind the scenes. In 1974, The Towering Inferno, a cinematic gem directed by John Gillerman and Irwin Allen graced the screens, immersing audiences in a gripping tale set against the backdrop of a towering skyscraper. Amidst the chaos and intensity of the film, behind-the-scenes anecdotes add a unique layer to its creation. One notable detail involves the scenic elevator featured in the movie. Interestingly, it is one of two elevators from the Hyatt Regency Hotel in San Francisco. This particular elevator found its way into several films, contributing to cinematic moments in time after time, High Anxiety, Telefin and Freebie, and The Beam. The film's ensemble cast, including luminaries like Faye Dunaway and Fred Astaire, brought depth to the character-driven storyline. However, not all cast members were entirely content. 
William Holden, for instance, expressed dissatisfaction with his role, lamenting, I spend all of the time talking on the phone. Adding another layer to the film's release, The Towering Inferno shared the 1974 cinematic landscape with another disaster film, Earthquake. Released almost a month apart, some theaters seized the opportunity, offering a double feature aptly named The Shake and Baked Double Feature, showcasing both films in succession. These intriguing behind-the-scenes facts provide a glimpse into the diverse elements that contributed to the making of The Towering Inferno, underscoring the intricate web of details that shaped this cinematic classic. The Towering Inferno, a cinematic spectacle of 1974, boasts impressive behind-the-scenes details. Paul Newman's daredevil spirit shines as he took on daring stunts, scaling the bent stairwell railing with unmatched authenticity. Newman's commitment added a visceral touch to the film's intense scenes. Moreover, the glass tower's sophisticated computer, a relic from the Cold War era, brings a unique historical dimension. The IBM ANSC-7 Combat Direction Central, originally designed to defend against Soviet bombers in the 1950s, found an unexpected second life in Hollywood. Components from this obsolete system graced the towering inferno, linking the film to other iconic productions like The Time Tunnel, Earth Roman II, Future World, and Independence Day. Notably, the movie's roots trace back to novels inspired by the World Trade Center's construction. Richard Martin Stern's The Tower envisioned a 125-story building next to the North Tower, foreshadowing the climactic rescue from the novel Skyscraper. This connection adds depth to The Towering Inferno, linking it to the architectural and narrative inspiration drawn from real-world developments. In essence, The Towering Inferno transcends its on-screen drama, offering a glimpse into Paul Newman's fearless dedication, the film's cutting-edge computer technology, and the prescient inspiration drawn from the evolving urban landscape. As we bid adieu to this cinematic journey through the fiery realms of human drama, we find ourselves standing on the precipice of nostalgia. The Towering Inferno, a celluloid tapestry woven in 1974, continues to resonate with the echoes of blazing ambition and desperate heroism. As the curtains draw to a close, let the embers of this cinematic masterpiece spark a reflection within. Perhaps you recall the palpable tension that danced in the air, a symphony of danger and daring. The characters, like old friends, etched in the annals of your memories, beckon you to revisit the heights of the towering skyscraper and the depths of your own emotions. Did you find yourself holding your breath during the gripping moments? Or did the film's crescendo of flames ignite a dormant courage within? Now it's your turn to step into the spotlight. Share with us your most cherished recollections, your poignant takeaways, or the scenes that linger in the recesses of your mind like fragments of a vivid dream. How did the towering inferno resonate with the architecture of your own experiences? Let the conversation blaze forth like the consuming fire that once engulfed the silver screen. In the grand theater of life, we are but spectators, each with our unique vantage point. Your reflections illuminate the narrative, breathing life into the timeless tale of the towering inferno. Thank you for indulging in this cinematic journey and for sharing a piece of your own narrative with us. Your time and thoughts are the fuel that keeps the flame of collective memory burning bright. Until the next reel on Spools, stay ablaze with the stories that make life an epic adventure.